slash donate. Mary had a little man. man, man. La, la, la. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Help is on the way. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Road Show. Turn up your mind. All right, this will be fun. Here she is, everybody, Bonnie Willis, who was uh, called erroneously and in an ugly manner a racist because the caller from North Carolina has decided that the Internet is telling the truth when the Internet tells him that Bonnie Willis doesn't prosecute black crime. Operation Heat Wave 2023 has been a success, and we're very, very proud to have been invited to be a part of it. Those operations to date have resulted in 39 known gang members being arrested, and that's very important. When I ran for the district attorney, I told the voters of Fulton County that we had a gang problem, and now it seems like everyone knows that, but back then people were saying, this isn't New York, this isn't L.A., what are you talking about? And it took us getting a leader like Mayor Dickens to recognize that there was a gang part problem. I can tell you to date this year, we're up 370% in gang warrants. That is the work of the men and women who wear that uniform, and it's the work that's keeping us safer. To date, we have over 100 gang convictions. That's from January the 1st of this year through August the 31st. And when I say convictions, I mean either by plea or by trial. Those are 100 cases where gang members are off of our streets. Year to date, He told you, but I like to talk in numbers. Atlanta homicides are down by 29%. Oh. That's not just a number. That's a lot of people that get to have Thanksgiving dinner this year with their family. A lot of fathers, they get to raise their children and make this society better. And it is a huge accomplishment. And we owe gratitude to the Atlanta Police Department and these partners for doing this work. I, 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 I don't think the Internet is uh, telling you the truth about Bonnie. I don't, I don't think that you are um, getting good information. I think somewhere along the line you went down a rabbit hole and stayed there. And now you want to call up uh, you know, television talk shows and you want to scream at the top of your lungs that a woman who's prosecuting Donald Trump for a crime that is backed up by hours of audio tape and videotape from Coffee County where they went there to take the voting machines so they could say they had the voting machines and they were flipping votes and lie to you. On tape they have that and she shouldn't prosecute that in her state. Really? Thieves think you're stealing, liars think you're lying, and racists think you're racist. But there's tape. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you don't like the truth, if it can't be held in your brain because you've been feeding on a steady diet of bull crap on the Internet. But there are freaking tapes, okay? We have won this election in <laughs> Georgia based on all of this. And there's, there's nothing wrong with, with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having, the, having a correct – the people of Georgia are angry. <laughs> and these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. (laughs) Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. That's a billion dollars. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. This is Ryan Germany. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having. <laughs> well, but no, but but have they moved? Have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. You sure, Ryan? I'm sure. (laughs) It goes on. It goes on for an hour. I could keep on playing it, but it won't matter. It won't pierce. It won't penetrate uh, into the brains of the um, 
sodded with internet rumors and conspiracy theory crowd. Okay, it just won't. But I, I do have a huge problem with you calling Ms. Willis the racist in this uh, particular scenario, when clearly over the weekend, the racists were uh, being racist right there out in the open. This appeared to be a group of about two dozen men that marched through downtown Nashville and around the Capitol. As you saw in the video, they were all wearing those red shirts. Most of the group, <laughs> the majority of the group, had their faces covered. Their of identities course. were concealed. Some of them were carrying flags with the swastika symbol. Several bystanders who witnessed this took cell phone video of the group. Some of them confronted the group and yelling at them, calling them cowards for not showing their faces. Some say that the, de the demonstrators were yelling anti-immigrant chance. Some of them blame the state's Republican leadership. They say that anti-immigrant rhetoric may have fueled some of this demonstration. Ugh. The Democratic state representative, Justin Jones, actually witnessed the march on Saturday. He took some of that video. He organized that rally today. Take a listen to what he had to say. That was meant to intimidate our community, but we stand united, multiracial, multigenerational, multi-faith people who have not been together for some time standing on the plaza, the People's Plaza, where they were saying, we're reclaiming the space. Yes. Yes. We're cleansing the space. That's it. We're getting rid of all that hate and that negativity and saying, this is our plaza. Yes. This is our house. Yes. That's it. And we're not covering up our face because we're proud of who we are. The Republican Governor Bill Lee also issued a statement over the weekend on social media saying Nazism and anti-Semitism should never be tolerated in any form as Jewish people around the world continue to face persecution. Tennessee remains unwavering in our support for the nation of Israel and her people. Zingle, in the scheme of things, this may have seemed like a small-scale demonstration, mm. but such a powerful, hateful message. Totally. Somebody is racist in this audience, and it ain't me, and it's not Bonnie, and it's not Letitia, and it's not Alvin Bragg, but it is special that all the prosecutors that have, uh, you know, brought cases of fraud, brought cases of criminal fraud, brought cases of uh, 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 election rigging and insurrection inciting, uh, they do seem all to be, uh, you know, African-American prosecutors who have law degrees, and you don't. And you don't. Why is that? Some people actually lived up to their excellent potential, and other people didn't. And now they feel grievance toward the ones who did, and so they must call them racist. That is ugly. That is hateful. And it's false. Above all else, it's not true. Justin Jones asked a question this weekend. He wanted to know why is it that Nazis feel so welcome in Nashville? Why do Nazis feel so welcome in Charlottesville? Why do Nazis feel so welcome in New York City? Why is all of this happening suddenly? And why are Nazis, they're not Nazis. I mean, they're, they're like, uh, they look like, uh, you know, miscreant office people who wore their khakis. Everybody dressed the same. Did somebody tell them that that looked good? The master race can't pick an outfit. They all have to, I, I don't even understand. See, it was the one thing that um, you sort of could, I hate to use the word admire about anything Nazi, but their uniforms were cool. This khaki thing with the thing over your face, that just looks like you're a coward. That just looks like, a, you know, a, a, like like you're, you're, you're afraid of, of people knowing who you are because you'll get fired from Office Max. It's amazing how white pride can be faceless. Yes, white pride is faceless. It always has been, though. You know, they used to wear sheets. Their horses used to wear sheets because everybody would recognize everybody else's horse. And they would say, you know who that is? That's the sheriff. You know who that is? That's the cop from down the street. That's who that is. Now, if you're upset about uh, Im immigration and it's sort of, um, you know, mixing in your brain to the point where Fannie Willis ends up being the racist, you're confused, number one. And number two, your party won't pass the bill that passed the Senate. They went on vacation. Yeah, President's Day for the House of Representatives, two weeks. Don't have time to listen to the live show? 
Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.